Welcome to our free bronze course on financial markets trading. With our course our aim is to teach you the power behind one of our trading robot Precision Scalper Pro, why is it profitable and the brain behind the EA which is the strategy called QML, quantitative market liquidity based on smart money concepts and liquidity grabs in the market. But first we need to introduce you to few basics, in this episode we will introduce you to the exciting world of trading, covering the basics, potential benefits, and risks involved. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of the financial markets and the terminology used in trading these markets, this will better your understanding when it comes to smart money concepts and big institutional trading. So let's get started. Financial Markets Trading Introduction What is financial markets trading and why should you be interested? Financial markets trading refers to the buying and selling of financial instruments such as currencies known as forex, stocks, and indices with the goal of making a profit. It operates in various markets, both physical and virtual, and plays a significant role in global finance. Financial markets trading provides opportunities to individuals, corporations, and institutions to invest in various financial instruments. It enables participants to access capital, manage risks, and potentially earn returns on their investments. Now, let's explore the different financial instruments commonly traded in financial markets. We'll start with currency pairs, which are traded in the foreign exchange, Forex, market. Currency pairs represent the exchange rates between two currencies, such as the euro to US dollar pair, where the euro is the base currency and the US dollar is the quote currency. Currency pairs are quoted using a two-part price, the bid price and the ask price. The bid price represents the price at which you can sell the base currency, while the ask price represents the price at which you can buy the base currency. The difference between the bid and ask price is known as the spread. Spread refers to the difference between the bid price and the ask price of a financial instrument, such as a currency pair or a stock. It represents the cost of trading and is essentially the profit made by the market maker or broker. The bid price is the price at which a trader can sell the instrument, while the ask price is the price at which they can buy it. The spread is measured in pips in the case of currency pairs and in points or fractions of a currency unit for other instruments. Spread is very important that's why we recommend using AccuMarkets because of their low spreads and different account types. To sign up with AccuMarkets click on the link in the description below. For example, if the euro to US dollar currency pair moves from 1.08349 to 1.09080, it has increased by 5 pips. Pips are used to calculate profits and losses in forex trading. Another important concept is lots. A lot represents the size of a trade in forex. Standard lots are typically equivalent to 100,000 units of the base currency, while mini lots represent 10,000 units and micro lots represent 1,000 units. The lot size you choose determines the value of each pup and the risk involved in the trade. Leverage is a powerful tool in forex trading that allows you to control larger positions with a smaller amount of capital. It is expressed as a ratio, such as 1 to 100 or 1 to 500. For example, with a leverage ratio of 1 to 100, you can control $100,000 worth of currency with a $1,000 deposit. While leverage can amplify profits, it also magnifies losses, so it should be used with caution. Lastly, let's discuss margin. Margin is the amount of money you need to have in your trading account to open and maintain a position. It is expressed as a percentage of the total trade value and is required as collateral to cover potential losses. Margin requirements vary depending on the leverage ratio and the financial market instrument traded. Some instruments have a higher margin than other instruments, for example indices might have a higher margin than forex pairs. A margin call in trading is a critical moment that can make or break your financial journey. Picture this, the market's relentless twists and turns have pushed your account to its limits. 
Suddenly, the margin call bell tolls, unleashing a high-stakes showdown between your trading skills and the merciless demands of your broker. It's a nerve-wracking test of your ability to adapt, survive, and potentially even thrive amidst the volatile storms of the trading arena. And that concludes our introduction to financial markets trading. We've covered the basics of the stock market, currency pairs, indices essential trading terminology like pips, lots, leverage, and margin. Remember, forex trading offers exciting opportunities, but it also involves risks. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please feel free to reach out to us using the contact information provided in the description below. Happy trading and see you in the next video, which will include information on price action trading. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release our next video with more information.